Well, hi, everybody. Well, today is my husband's birthday. I can't believe this is my husband. He's celebrating his birthday today. It's a nice day today for March, you know. So I'm going to make a heavily, heavily chocolate rich cream pie. Delicious. If you can't find baking chocolate, you can use chocolate chips. It's basically almost the same thing. I'm using milk chocolate chips. I would say almost a whole bag of it. What you're going to do now is we're going to add in uh, three tablespoons of butter. Okay? Just add it in here. This is going to go into the custard mixture that I'm going to make in a minute. All right, I'm adding in a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm almost out of vanilla. Right, we have just enough. Here we go. All right, I'm going to throw, take care of this right now. We're going to mix this together. It's not going to go any further because we're going to actually start with the custard now. I'm now adding in, <clears throat> excuse me, one half cup of granulated sugar. This is going to be making the custard. I'm now adding in one and one quarter cup of milk. This is going to be so yummy. I literally cannot wait to have this, folks. Oh, it's going to be so delicious. We're going to add in one and one quarter cup of milk. I'm going to add in light cream. You need light cream for this, okay? It's going to make the cream pie really rich and fluffy. Okay, one. Every chocolate cream pie, folks, is made a little bit differently. It's almost up to two cups of this, of light cream. Now, folks, I'm going to mix it together. And first, I'm going to tell you what's going to really thicken this up. It's going to be my cornstarch that we're going to put in right now. I'm adding in three tablespoons of cornstarch. Put this over here. Okay. Three tablespoons of cornstarch is going to go in here, and this is what's going to really thicken it up. The cornstarch is great when you make a cream pie. This is definitely an honor of my husband. Now, my husband, one, two, I'll tell you about it in a minute. He loves baseball. He loves sports. He loves Disney. You name it, he loves it. All right, we're going to take this, and we're going to cook this. We want it to thicken before we add in the six egg yolks. All right, what I want to do now is I'm going to add some of the custard into the eggs. This way, only egg yolks, just use egg yolks. Everybody makes chocolate cream, there's many ways of making chocolate cream pie. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to mix this together. And put this back on the stove and we're going to let this sit here for about three or four minutes so let the eggs cook in okay now what we're going to do now is we're going to dump the hot custard into the chocolate mixture this is going to make it become chocolate cream pie it's going to take a minute or so for everything to melt in here and you're going to see something that's going to be beautiful there we come we're starting to see it already it's turning into chocolate cream pie oh and keep mixing this together how beautiful this is coming along. Oh, my husband's going to love homemade chocolate cream pie. There's many ways of making chocolate cream pie. You do know that. I'm going to flip this over. Look how beautiful this is coming. Some butter in there, but we'll get rid of that in a minute. My husband, I'm not telling you how old he is because he doesn't want to talk about his age. I don't blame him. I don't talk about my age either when my birthday comes, you know. Look how beautiful this is coming. You could use... Any kind of chocolate chip. If you can't find baking, then there's nothing to worry about. You can use chocolate chips. Now, what we're going to do now is make sure everything is melted in here. Keep stirring this. Stirring this. And we're going to put it into our chocolate graham cracker crust. And we're going to let it cool off. Because we can't put whipped cream on this pot like this because it will not come out. Look how beautiful this is. It's nice and rich. And wait till it shows, folks. It's really going to be rich. If you can't find baking chocolate, it is better to use baking chocolate if you can. If not, I use milk chocolate chips. It's going to be just as good when it's done. Uh, now, what I want to do now is I'm going to dump this. Oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh, okay. I want this to sit at room temperature, and I'm going to chill it, so I'll be back in about an hour. Add in five, excuse me, three tablespoons of granulated sugar into the whipped cream. You don't want 
it with no sugar to taste hard. You could add in vanilla if you want to. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to put it on top of the ketchup filling. Oh, it's going to be so good. There we go. A little bit at a time. You don't want to won't have the appearance of it. Here we go. Now we're going to do is we're going to try to keep the sides totally. Here we go. Trying to do very gently with this. Always use a chocolate uh, graham cracker when you make. Well, a lot of times you can use graham cracker. Of course, that's true. You could. It's definitely an honor my husband's birthday today. Let's spread it out a little bit. We want to make sure we keep some of the custard showing so you can see that it's a chocolate cream pie. Obviously. Mm, looks so good. I can't wait to have it. Oh. Now, if you have anything like you know, like shaved chocolate, you can shave a little Hershey bar over it if you want to make it attractive. But that's not really necessary. And here we have it. In honor of my husband's birthday today, John, a delicious, heavily chocolate cream pie from Double H. I'm Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.